Hey guys, welcome back to M6 Trains here. Matt here, back again with another video. Today we have something a little bit different. We have a box from a company called Ready Made Trains. And this is all new to me. So we're going to check these cars out together right now. so we got some new wood-sided reefers from a company called ready-made trains and they are i don't know if they're new or not but they're new to me i just heard about them maybe a year or so ago and i mean i've been in this hobby for over 20 years now and i've never heard of them and i just found out about them just kind of going through those emails i would get um yeah, from Mr. Muffins or whatever, or the other hobby stores. But yeah, I've never really heard of these this brand before, and I figured it'd be something, something to check out and just kind of see what they're about. And you know, obviously, exploring new stuff in the hobby is always a good thing. I really packed this box up, but I figured since I've never experienced what they're about before, we would do a live unboxing, something we haven't done before in a long time and check them out. I figured it would make it more authentic and kind of see what they're about. So this is all, all new to me. I've never even really had experience with them before, obviously, like I said. So it is a company called Ready Made Trains. And like I said, they're all new to me, but I figured we would check them out. So here's the box. Obviously it looks like a nice box and we got two reefers. And to be honest, I don't even remember which ones I got. It's been a long time ago since I ordered them. But I figured we'll check them out because, one, I love reefers. And, two, it's always exciting to discover new brands or companies in, in the hobby. And figured I'd give it a shot and review it and see what we got. So let's see what the first one is. So, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Remember this. So we got a ice cream reefer. It actually looks pretty nice in the box right there. And let's see. Okay. All right. Very cool. Let's get them out of the box and take a right, look. So here are the two cars. And before we open them up, I just wanted to kind of talk for a quick second. So I guess ready-made trains are supposed to be kind of in the middle, I suppose, regarding you know, where it falls in the hobby. I mean, these cars, I guess, are supposed to be affordable, which they are. These were about 30 bucks a car, which is not bad. I mean, that, that competes with, you know, Menards prices, which are also, you know, great. Um, but it says O scale on the box. So I don't know if these are supposed to be, like, affordable scale products. Maybe. I'll, I'll have to do some more research, maybe. But they look nice so far. I mean, I don't think they're going to be, you know, close to MT Premier Atlas or anything like that. But let's just get out of the box and take a look. What the heck? Again, we're we're doing this live for first reactions because this is like again, this is all new to me. I do really like these boxes actually. I like how they have all the different railroad emblems along the whole box, you know, up top and everything. So let's check it out. Oh, they're from Jersey. That's funny. There's the box, made in China. Oh, okay, well, that might answer a little bit about my questions. Anyway, here's the box. It's actually not a bad box. It's nicer than a box you get with Menards. And I, again, these kind of come in right around the same price. These might be a little bit more money, but okay. All right, let me see. I might have taped these shut. Let's see here. All right, I had to kind of pause the video because they literally taped every every inch of this packaging. But it's actually, like I said earlier when I was comparing it to Menards, it's honestly almost the exact same packaging with even the sticker up top. Um, but anyway, there's speaking, speaking of the sticker, there's some more information for you up there. But yeah, this is literally almost identical to Menards packaging, which I kind of find funny, you know, minus the nice box. 
So that's kind of a nice add-on. But anyway, we're here for the car, so let's take it out and take a look. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm impressed. There's actually decent weight to this. Wow. Look at that. That's like the same detail you get with an MTH Premier Reefer. Look at that. The underside's pretty nicely done, too. You know, piping detail and cylinder detail. The door's nice. Wow. That's impressive. You have some coupler cut bar, I think, detail there. Separately applied grab handles, or grab irons. Excuse me, guys. It's been a long day. Legible car information on there. Wow. I'm really impressed with these. Like I said, look at all that legible print. These are actually really nice. Separately applied brake wheel. A fake wood finish for the roof, but it's pretty nice. You know, separately applied walkway. The, um, the hinges on the roof are molded in. But, I mean, this is actually really nice. I mean, I'm not going to lie, the, the trucks, I think the trucks are plastic. The wheels are metal. I don't know how well they, they don't really roll the best, maybe, but we'll have to look at that and, you know, spend some more time with those trucks. But as far as the car goes, it's really, really nice. I mean, you even have brake hose detail down there. I mean, look at that. The true question is, oh. Does the door open? It does. <laughs> Folks, this car is $30. That's crazy. That's, oh, I might've put the door on wrong. I mean, this is crazy for $30. Yeah, the trucks might not be the best, but I mean, if you can get past that, this is a really nice car. Again, the roof hatches for the ice don't open, but still, it looks from a distance fantastic. So I'm looking at this car, and I'm wondering if this is the X Weaver or K-Line tooling for their reefers, because it looks very similar, possibly. Maybe. I mean, you can kind of see a little bit of overspray there, but for $30... I am not complaining. I really like the, the logo here with the United States on it. And I mean, just look at that nice car print detail. It's all legible. I mean, that is crazy. For $30, this looks fantastic. I'm hoping or wondering that maybe you can take these trucks off and replace them with something a little bit nicer, and then you'd have a really solid reefer here. And with these trucks, they do feel, like I said, kind of clinky. The way they open them is you have to kind of pull this tab down here. And then it opens. And then if you kind of hear it, maybe. I don't know if you can hear it through the video. But it sounds kind of clunky and gets a little bit stuck. So it doesn't work the best. But for $30, let's see if they can do that again. It's not great, but it could be worse. But, I mean, I'm not even really concerned about the trucks. The car itself is really nice for thirty dollars i'm not gonna lie and it looks great and the door opens that's crazy right. let's take a look at the ice cream car here if i can get it open i mean they even have a nice little tab here sometimes mth and the big big three don't even do that on their boxes so i mean again for thirty dollars this is pretty nice all right, let me pause this to take the 30 feet of tape off this thing. All right, guys, here is the Red Rose ice cream car. And as you can see, it looks beautiful. I really like the, the logo here, one, because I love ice cream, too. It's just, I love the colors, the contrast between the red and the green and the brown and the white. It looks fantastic. I mean, take a look at this. Everything's legible. Pretty crisp paint. I can't complain at all. This is a $30 car, guys. I mean, that is, you know, as you know, very hard to beat for a nice reefer in this hobby. 
Again, the details aren't, you know, all there. I mean, the roof hatches don't open, but I mean, who cares for the price? I mean, you can't beat this. And I will say these wheels on this car do roll a lot better. So maybe it's just that one there that was a little bit of an issue. But and let's see how this truck opens. Yeah, so the truck still feels, or the coupler, I'm sorry, feels still a little bit clump, clunky to me, but maybe some WD-40 might help a little bit, or I might just in the future change those out, I don't know. But overall, for the price, this is quite surprisingly nice. I mean, again, look at all that grab iron detail and handrail detail and all that stuff. This looks fantastic. And I will say, I do think these are scale, I think. I'm gonna go with yes, I could be wrong, but these look to be about the same size as the MTH Premier 36 foot wood side reefers. I mean, they look exactly the same size and everything. So I'm gonna go with their scale. And for a scale, wood sided reefer for $30, brand new. Yeah, it's not perfect, but this is really darn good, actually. And I'm super happy to have these. These will be nice to just mix in if you want to make your reefer trains a little bit longer, but, you know, don't want to spend a whole bunch of money. These are a great option, as long as you can kind of get pa past the maybe questionable trucks. But these look fantastic, and the door's open. I mean, you can't beat that. I'm really happy with these. For the price, these are way better than Menards. I wouldn't say way better. I mean, the trucks are about, these are a little bit better trucks, but these are definitely better than Menards. And I wouldn't say they compare to the MTH and Atlas reefers, but they're definitely close. I mean, maybe just a step below. I mean, these are nice. I would def definitely recommend you pick one of these, at least one of these up just to, see what they're about and just get one just to just to see i mean because like i said i've never even heard of ready-made trains until about a year ago when i pre-ordered these and i just figured you know what it's a new company to me i'll check them out and just kind of see what they're about and what they put out and again i'm very impressed with these super nice for what you know what the price is they're not Atlas or MTH by any means, but for what you get here for the price, not bad at all. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really like these for the price. Can't believe it. I mean, this is far better than I expected. I mean, these, these wheels roll a lot better. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm super happy with these ready-made trains. Check them out. I might, you know... I don't need any more rolling stock, but I would seriously consider getting more of their stuff in the future. I mean, this is this is really nice. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.